welcome back to my channel. Um, I'm currently working on a graduation order. Someone asked that I put some things together, make a small little basket, and they wanted a tumbler. So I ended up purchasing this design off of Etsy. And I've already set up this cup one time today. However, once I got done, I realized that the monogram was upside down. So I decided I'm going to do it again. And since I'm going to have to do it again, I decided I'll just go ahead and record it for you guys. So here is the messed up version. The monogram is upside down. Hopefully you can see that. I have my blinds open, so there's a small glare. So see? It's upside down. So I am going to go ahead and do another one. And since I have to do another one anyway, I said I might as well just go ahead and record this video. So I've already created my design. And these tumblers that I have are straight. They're not tapered. And it took me a minute to figure out what the exact measurements are for my tumbler. It took a lot of measuring and, and trial and error. And once I finally got it, as you can see, you can barely see that I have a seam on my cup. So that's my seam. But it took a lot of trial and error and a lot of measuring. So if you guys are having seam issues, don't give up. Continue to tweak your measurements until you can get it just how you want it to look. So I'm going to go ahead, I printed this on 11 by 17 paper because I believe my measurements is 9.25 inches wide and 8.5 inches tall. So um, I printed this out on 11 by 17 paper and I'm just going to go ahead and cut my design out. And I trim very close to the design. And I'm not going to lie, I'm not the best cutter, but my husband has been helping me a lot with um, cutting, <laughs> teaching me how to cut. Um, so I've got a lot better at hand cutting eyes because I'm like... <laughs> And he's like, no, you can't cut like that. So, I learned now to just take my time and cut nice and slowly. And voila. So, we have the design. And I'm going to go ahead and I have you kind of propped up on my tape dispenser. <laughs> I'm going to go ahead and kind of show you how I wrap it around my cup. So, I now know that I want this to be on the bottom. And I'm just going to wrap my design around my cup and try to make sure it's nice and smooth. So, I don't have that much overlap. And slide it to make sure I have not only enough on the top, but I also have a little bit of excess on the bottom. Today, I'll be subbing in an oyster convection oven i do have a thermometer in my oven to kind of tell me what the time is a lot of people used to say oh make sure you have a therm thermometer make sure it's at 400 degrees etc 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 and i was burning my tumblers up do you hear me <laughs> i was burning them puppies up it was not working so again it took a lot of trial and error it took a lot of messing up tumblers but i i do glitter tumblers as well so i figure i can just recycle them that way and what i ended up doing was finding out that my oven only needs to be on 350 degrees so i have it on 350 i have it on turbo and um it works just fine so i don't even touch it and as you've seen on the other cup, it looks perfect. And my thermometer says 350 degrees as well inside my oven. So, I don't know. 
So what I'm doing now is just making sure that it's nice and smooth. And if you guys always say, that girl always have on the jacket, it's because it's always cold in my house. I live with a bunch of hot nature people. And then I take my heat tape. A piece of heat tape. My good friend bought this for me, this dispenser. And the tape I'm using is kind of wide and fat. And I just place it, place a little piece on the center. Let's see if you can see that. See that? And now I'm just going to finish doing that down the sides of my cup to make it nice and smooth. So this is also going to kind of help make sure that my seam is how I want it. Like Again, like I was saying, I have very little overlap. If I have too much overlap, I will get a line. Matter of fact, I have a tumbler here that I can show you why I have that, why I have that line. Where is it? My room is messy. Cutting table somewhere, guys. I don't know where I stuck it. I may, I may have taken it out in the garage where I do my other cups. Oh, here it is. And so you can see on this one right here, this is this is a trial and error cup, right? See that scene? That came from having too much overlap. And so I knew then just to make it a little bit shorter, and then I was able to um, to get it just right. So that's why I don't have too much overlap on my tumblers. And so now I have it. I still have a little bit of access on the bottom. I would have liked it a little bit more, but it kind of shifted on me when I did the when I started taping. But it's fine. What I'm going to do next is tape down the top. And so I take tape, a piece of tape, and I put it right at the edge of my cup. And I press it down to tape down the top of my cup. Because again, you don't want any air. This will help prevent ghosting. And I used to try to do tumblers without those um, plastic. I don't know what they call it. They're like the the sleeves for the tumblers. And like, look right there. See that? That, that would make an air pocket. So again, you want to make sure that it's nice and smooth and tight. Hence the reason why I go around the top of my tumblers. I also go around the bottom too. And I just press it. This is what it looks like. So I go all the way around. Make sure it's nice and smooth. And I pull my tape tight as I'm doing this. To make sure I don't have no bubbles. And so... Now we have the top done, and I'm going to do the same to the bottom. When I tell you I watch so many YouTube videos and um, messed up so many tumblers trying to get these doggone tumblers right, oh my God. And these tumblers are not expensive. So if you are sublimating, sublimating tumblers, keep in mind that um, if your your substrate must be sublimation ready. It, you can't just buy a white tumbler and be like, oh, I'm going to sub, sub on that. No. It has to be a sublimation substrate. Um, and, I, and I just bought a case. Me and my friend went half on a case. But she don't sub as many as I do. So I normally end up jumping into her stash. 
So now my tumbler has been taped. I tape, put tape down the side where my seam is. I've taped the inside top and I've also taped the bottom. And so now what we're gonna do is I'm gonna go and get a plastic sleeve and I just use my standard blow dryer, but my blow dryer gets pretty hot. So as you see, natural. So when I do wear my hair straight, I need a really, really hot blow dryer. But um, I just use my blow dryer and I make sure that when I, when I um, put, slide my sleeve in the cup that is my tumbler is in the middle and I blow dry it and make sure it's nice and smooth that I don't have any wrinkles to make sure that there's no air pockets. And so that's gonna be kind of loud. I'll go ahead and do that and then I'll come back and show you what it looks like. Okay, so I am back with part two. <laughs> Not part two, but I'm back. So this is my tumbler. I placed it in the sleeve. As you see, it's nice and smooth. I just used my blow dryer. That's the top. That's the bottom. And um, I purchased these sleeves from Etsy. And I that's where I probably purchased from again. Because I was going to order some from Amazon. And I saw missed reviews. And my grandma always said, if it ain't broke, don't fix it. So, that's what I'll be doing. Now, I'm going to go ahead and take you over to my oven. I do have these heat-resistant gloves. These gloves I got off of um, Pro World, and I can drop the link below. But I got these gloves off Pro World. We're going to go over to the oven, and then I'm going to show you what my oven looks like and um, what it's on. So, let's take a trip over to the oven. So this is what my oven looks like. As you see, I have it on 350 and it's on turbo and we have it on stay on. And if you look at my thermometer, don't mind that on the inside. That was that came from one of the times I burned my tumbler. If you look on the inside here though, you see that my thermometer says if we can get it to focus. Let's see. Um goodness it was just focusing let's see you guys probably can't see that but there it is it's about 325 actually so i'm gonna go ahead and put my other glove back on because i took my glove off and we're gonna put this tumbler in the oven all right so the way this you have some people that have the same small sublimation oven or small um, convection oven. They, and they stand it up on their side so that they can stand their tumblers up. Tried that, did that. Also, that did not work for me. And um, my friend was saying like hers was smoking and the legs melted off. And so I think it is a fire hazard if you do it that way. So I would not do it that way. There is a sublimation oven that I do want to purchase in the future that is actually made for sublimation, not the 3D oven, but there's another oven. And I do want to purchase that because I don't want to have to guess and try to um, figure out what my time should be for items. I want to kind of just take the guessing game out of it. So, um, but in this case, we are going to use this convection oven because this is currently what I have. I do not have a tumbler um, mug press. I mean, a tumbler press. I thought about getting one of those, but mm, I don't, I'm don't. i just kind of iffy about it. I just need to do more research into it. That's my mug press over there, and then there's, of course, my um, butcher paper. So, we're going to go ahead and put this in the oven now, and I'm going to set my timer for six minutes. I um, set it for three minutes, and then when the timer goes off, I pull my rack out. And I turn my tumbler and then I stick it back in for another three minutes. So I'm going to go ahead and put this in the oven now. And some people also have theirs sitting on a silicone mat. I don't do that either. So I'm just going to slide it in. As you see, it's in there. We're going to close. And I'm now going to set my timer for three minutes. Okay, 
So my timer just went off. I'm going to open my drawer. I pull my um, rack out. And as you can see, you can kind of see that it's coming through. So I just roll my tumbler over. slide it back in sorry if you couldn't see that and I slide it back in the oven make sure you have your heat glove on because those things get hot we're going to close it back up and then we're going to set the timer for another three minutes once it's done I will show you guys what it looks like so the timer just went off the um, second three minutes is up I'm going to go ahead and open the door pull out the rack and grab my tumbler Close the rack and close the door and we're going to go back over to my desk so that we can take it apart and so let's dive into it so I am right-handed so I went ahead and put on my glove for my left hand so it can hold my tumbler and then I normally just take a weeding tool to start peeling the plastic off. So there's some perforated lines um, in the sleeve and I just start there and peel my way down. So let's start unwrapping. Be careful like I said before because these tumblers get really hot. And if you hear my kids, it's lunchtime, so they're ready for me to make lunch. Okay, I heard you. So, I still have my oven on. <laughs> Just in case I make a mistake, I can. Go, my oven is already hot. And again, I'm just trying to get the sleeve off is what we're trying to do right now. Now, when I was had my oven up higher, I wasn't able to peel my sleeve. I mean, it was easy for my sleeve to come off because they were practically like melted. Hence the reason why you see that on my door of my oven. So it's the same on the bottom. And now I'm just going to take the tape off the bottom. Let's just slide my hand back. And now I'm just going to slide my weeding tool in the. You can't see that. No, I'm doing. Slide my weeding tool in the crack where we had the tape without scratching it to kind of lift it. And on this one, I actually had some air pockets on the bottom. See, remember I said I didn't really have enough space on the bottom? That's why I wanted more space on the bottom. And it's, it's actually not, it's still kind of warm, but it's not as hot as it was. And so this is the tumbler. This is what it looks like. I actually have the money ground right side up. But as you see here on the bottom, that's what happens when air gets in. You get those spots like that. See that? That's what happens if air gets un gets in your underneath. And I don't have that much on the bottom. See on this one. I don't have those spots and um, I have more coverage on the bottom see that versus the first one so I always try to have a little bit of extra but this is the tumbler in a nutshell other than that it's perfect so of course I'm gonna have to do this one again story of my life 
I hope you guys really enjoyed this video and found it helpful. Don't forget to like, comment, subscribe. If you have any questions, leave them below and I will do my best to answer those for you. And I hope you're having a grand old day. See you next time.